Welcome back. Well, we got that NVIDIA stock breakout above 130, as I suggested. In last week's NVIDIA stock analysis, I shared with you guys last week, and we crushed the 130 calls in our Discord. Leave a comment and a like if you got those 130 calls we mentioned last week that we were accumulating. Today, we have some exciting updates on NVIDIA. The stock just broke out on both the point and figure and daily candlestick charts, but there's a lot to unpack here. We're going to break down the recent price action, discuss key levels to watch, and outline a trading plan that covers both buy and sell strategies. So, if you're ready for a friendly yet detailed analysis, let's get started. Let's kick things off with the point and figure chart. As we discussed in our previous analysis, we were eyeing a potential breakout, and it has finally happened. However, here's the catch. While NVIDIA broke out, it hasn't closed above two critical levels. $128 and $130. Why does this matter? Well, the $130 level is especially significant because Nvidia managed to breach it intraday but couldn't hold it into the close. This tells us that there's still some resistance in this area and the bulls need to muster more strength to push higher. If we see a close above $130 soon, it could signal a move towards the bullish price objective of $194, which the PNF chart suggests. Today, members in our Discord bought with us at 133 per contract and got out at 235 per contract for a 77% gain today, the moment we bought the 130 calls. If you want to join our premium Discord or get an instant email when we buy or sell visit the Patreon trading group, link in the description. Based on the updated chart, the ABC corrective wave remains a viable scenario for NVIDIA despite the recent breakout. Yesterday's extension of the potential wave, C, aligns with the ongoing corrective nature of the move. Interestingly, the current target for wave, C, has shifted closer to the $122.08 level, which coincides with the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. This level is particularly significant because it's often viewed as a key area of support and potential accumulation by institutional buyers. Given the stock's proximity to this Fibonacci level, there is a heightened likelihood that it could attract larger buying interest. Additionally, the current price action remains within the constraints of the downward sloping trend lines, suggesting that the market is still weighing its next directional move. If Nvidia finds support near $122.08 and reverses higher, it could signal the completion of the corrective phase, paving the way for a potential bullish resurgence. However, a decisive breakdown below this level would indicate further downside, possibly testing the 0.5 Fibonacci level around $116.21. Now, let's shift gears to the daily candlestick chart, where we have a breakout from a symmetrical triangle. This is a bullish development as the price closed above the upper trend line of the triangle, indicating a potential shift in momentum. The breakout was accompanied by an upward push above the $128 level, but again, Closing below $130 raises some questions about the immediate strength of this move. The RSI is currently around 60, suggesting that there's room for more upside, but we need to see follow through in the next couple of sessions. All right, now let's dive into the trading plan. Given the recent breakout, here's how we can approach Nvidia. For long trades, initial buy. The ideal buy zone is a close above $130. This would confirm that NVIDIA has broken past the key resistance and could open up room for a move toward higher targets. Entry, buy on a daily close above $130. Stop loss, set a stop loss just below the breakout point at $126, giving the trade some breathing room. Targets, the first target is $140, which is a previous high and a natural resistance area. If NVIDIA clears $140 with conviction, the next target aligns with the P and F bullish price objective at $151. Beyond that, the long-term target would be the P and F objective of $194. Pullback Buy If NVIDIA pulls back to the $128 level, this could provide a second entry opportunity if it finds support there. Entry Buy if price holds at $128. Stop loss. Place a stop just below $125 to manage risk. Targets. Similar to the breakout strategy, look for $140 as the initial target and $151 thereafter. 
for short trades. If Nvidia fails to close above $130 again and shows signs of rejection, there could be a short-term shorting opportunity. Entry, short on a break below $125. Stop loss, set a stop loss at $130 to minimize risk in case the breakout resumes. Targets. The first downside target would be the 50-day SMA at $116. If selling pressure continues, the next target could be the $110 level. Remember, the markets can be volatile, and managing your risk is crucial. Always use stop-loss orders to protect your capital and ensure that your trade aligns with your risk tolerance. In summary, NVIDIA's breakout is showing some promising signs, but it has yet to secure a close above $130 to truly kick off a more significant rally. For now, it's all about watching how the price interacts with the $128 to $130 zone and planning your trades accordingly. So there you have it. NVIDIA is at a crucial point with potential for both bullish and bearish plays. The key lies in the $128 to $130 zone. We'll be watching this closely over the next few sessions. If you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more market insights, and share your thoughts on NVIDIA in the comments below. Happy trading.